everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you guys a tour of my K-pop shelf. I am so excited for today's video. This is actually the video that I have always wanted to make. And over the last two years of doing YouTube, I have started and am continually growing my K-pop collection. I'm very excited to show you guys where I keep all of the stuff that I unbox on my channel. Without further ado, let's get started! Here is an overview of everything I will be showing you guys today. I will be using these flowers as like a pointer to point things out. I'll show you guys three main areas. We'll start with the wall right here and then move on to the main shelf and then lastly we'll finish off with this section right here which has my enamel pin collection. So starting off with the wall right here, I decided to add all of the slogans that I have acquired from concerts as well as some of the posters that I have obtained from various events. As you can see, I'm not only a K-pop fan, I am also a Disney fan. So you'll also see a lot of Disney elements throughout this whole video as well. Here is a closer look at everything I have on my wall so far. Starting off with this one over here, so this is a super limited edition art print that I got at the D23 Expo which is essentially a Disney conference last year 2022. This is a limited edition artwork that was created by one of the artists to celebrate a hundred years of the Walt Disney Company. And down here if you saw my expensive proof unboxing you'll know what this is. This is actually the pre-order special gift that came with the Proofs Collector's Edition and I just really liked it so I hung it up on my wall right here. Moving on to this side, so the top three are actually slogans that I got when I went to concerts. So the first one, this is from the in hyphen concert I went to in October last year. This one down here, I got this from the TXT concert that I went to last year. Hopefully I get to see TXT again. I know they just announced their tour and I think tickets will go on sale in like two weeks so I'm crossing my fingers hopefully I get to see them again. This one is also a slogan that I got at the TXT concert however this is a fan made one and to be honest with you all I like this one a lot more than the actual official one just because it's a lot more colorful. And lastly I have an art print that I got at Disneyland and this was only available to magic key holders and I think this was to kick off the 100 year celebration of the Walt Disney Company. And I am trying to figure out what I want to put in this area right here because I kind of want to fill it up and make it more colorful. All right, now let's move on to my shelf. Before I go into the specifics, I wanted to show you guys an overview of my shelf. So I have a lot of Funko Pops at the top as you can see and it reaches all the way up to the ceiling. Here's the first shelf, second shelf, third shelf, fourth shelf, and the final shelf is down there. Let's start at the very top here and I apologize if the video is a little bit wobbly because I am just holding my phone with my hands. Okay, so let's start at the very top here. So from left to right, I have RM, Ray from Star Wars, and Jin. And on the next row down, I have Mary Poppins with her bag. And I have a collection of four Disney princesses. So from left to right, Ariel, Jasmine, Rapunzel, and Moana. And then on the very right hand side, I have Alice from Alice in Wonderland and she is doing a curtsying pose. Next, I have all seven BTS members and this is the butter version. So they are all wearing outfits that they wore in the butter music video. And then down here, I have all seven BTS members again. And this is a dynamite version. So they are wearing the outfits that they wore in the music video for dynamite. And next to the Funko Pops, I have this cute little stuffed animal, which my family actually got for me as a graduation present. And I just really like it. It's super cute. If you guys see at the very top here, I actually have Koya. This is my Koya headband that I actually wore to Permission to Dance in LA concert. And I actually had trouble trying to figure out where to store him. So I was like, you know what? It actually looks really nice on the stuffed animal. So yeah, now my stuffed animal graduation bear is wearing Koya as a headband. I really like how it looks. It looks super adorable. And on the side here, I actually have one more Funko Pop. It's Mulan with her horse Khan. 
So as you can all see, I really like to collect Funko Pops. However, I really don't have any space left because that is the ceiling, like the top of the ceiling, and I can't place any more. So now every time I see a new Funko Pop that I want, I need to tell myself that I can't purchase it anymore because I literally have no space. And just in case you guys are wondering where I got my Funko Pops, for the majority of these, I got on Amazon. The special edition ones with all seven members, those I got from Walmart and I think they were like a Walmart exclusive. Okay, so before I show you guys the specifics as to what is exactly on my shelf, I do want to take a few minutes just to show you guys the overall layout that I try to do on my shelf here. So as you can see, I have a variety of things ranging from albums to magazines to season's greetings. And as you'll notice, it is quite packed as well. So that is actually one of the major challenges I'm currently facing and that is I have no space. I'm at the point where I need to stack my albums and stuff because I literally don't have space. So I did try to make it aesthetically pleasing, at least for me personally. So at the top here, I have a little section right over here dedicated to all of the packages that have a holographic design on the outside and similar in terms of color. I did try to make my second shelf all BTS stuff. And then this third shelf right here is more of like the DVDs and season's greetings. And then this shelf down here, this is basically my TXT album collection and some more random things over here. And then down over here, I just have some random stuff that I don't know where to put, so I put them down here. All right, so starting from the left here, this is the BTS World album. This is actually one of their older albums, I think. It was released a few years ago, and I think it was for a game that was called BTS World. And I just really like the packaging, so I got it. So as you can see, it has like a little holographic design on this side. So yeah, I kept it there because it really matches my whole like holographic and um, purple thing going on here. All right, next up we have the Twice album. This is the Taste of Love album. And this is actually the only Twice album I currently have. I am planning on getting more because I do stand them. The main reason why I got this one was because I really like the aesthetics of it. I think it looks really pretty. And then right next to it, I have all three versions of the Sozu 2021 Mustard DVDs. I think one of them is the DVD, uh, Blu-ray, and the digital code version. Not sure which one is which, but all three of them are here. And something really special about these are that the packaging is super holographic and it looks really pretty. So if I move my camera around, you see how holographic it is? It's so cool. And then right next to that, I have the Love Yourself, Speak Yourself and Soul DVD and the Blu-ray version. And then right next to that, I have probably the rarest item I have on my whole shelf, and that is the Wings Tour Blu-ray. I actually got this in a mystery box, which I unboxed two years ago. And I was a brand new army at that time, so I literally did not know anything about the Wings Tour, but then I found out later when I got it that it was like a rare item, I guess, because it's out of print. So yeah, as you can see, I never took it out of the packaging. It's still in its original packaging. Something cool about this is that the packaging is also holographic. If I move my camera around, see a little holographic feel to it, which is really cool. And in front of the Sozu muster, I have an OT7 group photo. This was from last April, I think, when they came here to the United States. I think this was in Las Vegas when they did the Proof Mini Live event thing. So yeah, I just really like that photo, so I printed it out. All right, so moving on over here, I have three copies of the Proof Compact Edition albums, and then next to those, I have the butter album, so this is the cream version, this is the peaches version. And in front of that, I have this super adorable figurine of RJ carrying little Koya. It's so cute, honestly one of my favorite figures of all time. And over here, this is a miniature figurine of Hobie. And on the right, I have a cookie action figure, which I got on Amazon. All right, now let's move on to my favorite shelf out of all of the shelves, and that is the BTS album shelf. But before we do that, I want to give a huge shout out to Unicorn Spell for sponsoring this part of today's video. 
If you're a fan of Tiny Ton and are looking for a gift for yourself or the BTS fan in your life, make sure you check out Unicorn Spell. Unicorn Spell offers a variety of officially licensed Tiny Ton products ranging from cell phone cases to VTOX and AirPod cases. Something I really like about these products are that they are super practical and adorable at the same time. And ordering is super easy. All you have to do is click on the product and then choose the member that you want and a corresponding device. And don't forget to use my code GIRLWITHLOVE at checkout for a discount on your order. Thank you to Unicorn Spell for sending me this package. I wonder what is inside. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I got a VTOG and this is Namjoon. If you didn't know, he is my bias. So this is what the front looks like. Here is what the back looks like. And for those of you who don't know what a VTOG is, it is essentially like a pop socket. All right, let's take this out and try it on. All right, so here is what the VTOG looks like. It's super adorable. It's literally Namjoon's head. And something I really like about this is that it is 3D. So this is all 3D and the texture is really smooth and it's actually really high quality too. So this is what the back looks like. And if I extend this, this can work as like a pop socket. There is an adhesive in the back here that you can pull off and stick to the back of your phone case. All right, let me try this on my phone case. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how cute it is. Oh my gosh. So here is the VTOG. It is so adorable. I really like how the size isn't too big or too small. It is the perfect size. And for contacts, I have an iPhone 10. Like I said earlier, if you pull the head up, you see there is a space for you to put your hands. So if you're taking photos or you're just like on your phone, this definitely helps and it looks super cute. My lock screen is actually Namjoon. So now I have Namjoon as my lock screen and also behind my phone. I highly recommend this product. It's super adorable. Make sure you check out the website because they have this available for the other members as well. And once again, don't forget to use my code at checkout for a small discount. And thank you again to Unicorn Spell for sending me this. All right, getting back to my shelf here. So this shelf, as I said earlier, is my BTS collection basically. So starting over here, I have this little lanyard hanging over here and this is a lanyard that holds a special place in my heart. This is the lanyard I got when I attended the Permission to Dance on stage in LA live play. I was part of the soundtrack, so I got this lanyard. It's super cute. So this is what the front looks like and this is what's, actually this is the back and this is the front and this is so adorable and I really love this because it like really just reminds me of how fantastic that day was and this was such a special event for me because this was the first time I saw BTS in concert. It has the dates and it was at the YouTube theater in Los Angeles. I have a little hook that basically hooks it onto the photo book. So this is the FACT photo book special edition. I think this is the 2020 version. And right next to it, I have Map of the Soul 7. This was the first ever album that I purchased and also the first unboxing video I posted on this channel. So yeah, this one always holds a special place in my heart. Next to it, I have two photo books. So this one is the BTS photo folio, the group OT7 one, and then right next to it, I have Namjoon's photo folio. And then now going into my album collection. So I have the deluxe and the regular version of the B album. And then right next to it, I have Map of the Soul Persona, and then School Love Affair, and then my Love Yourself series. I only have one copy of each. So this one is Love Yourself Tear, Love Yourself Answer, and Love Yourself Her. And then next to it, I have Namjoon's album, Indigo, right here. This is the standard edition. And then I have the tiny version over here. Oh, and FYI, to make you guys' life a little bit easier, instead of leaving links to all of the things shown in this video down in my description box, I have added the majority of the items you see in my collection up on my Amazon storefront, which I will leave a link to down in the description box. All you have to do is head over to my Amazon storefront, click on idea lists, and then from there you can look for the item under the corresponding category. Underneath the albums, I have the Art of Disney postcard set. This is essentially a postcard set 
containing the artwork from all of the movies from 1989 to 2014. So yeah, this is a super cool collectible. If you are a Disney fan, I highly recommend this item. Next to it, I have this super cute macaron lip balm. This is Koya, and I think this is the acai flavor, I think. It's super cute. So I'm currently using the RJ one. It's a mango flavored one. I really like it. And I saw the one for Koya and I was like, you know, I have to get him. So yeah, now I have one for Koya. Okay, moving on to this section right here. So I have three memories. So this is memories of 2019, memories of 2020, and memories of 2021. And at the top here, I have the map of the soul online concert, um, DVD, and Blu-ray version as well. And then up on top, I have two versions of Jin's solo single, The Astronaut. And I mentioned this earlier, but this is the smaller version of Indigo. This is super cute. I really like how small it is. I think this is like the postcard version. And I actually have this super adorable collectible figurine of Namjoon and I thought it would be super cute putting him next to this Indigo album. And then next to him, we have little Koya right here. It's so cute. This is like a car figurine. However, I think it looks much nicer on my shelf. So yeah, this is a little cute Koya Minini version, I think. It's so adorable. And then there's a little heart right here. This is actually one of my prized possessions because I don't think these are available anymore. So I actually got this magazine during the Permission to Dance in Las Vegas concert. I went to the very last day and I didn't know at that time that that would be the last concert that they would do as like a group, like on tour. And now I am super, super glad that I decided to go. I stayed at the Park MGM Hotel and because they were part of the like MGM collaboration thing with the group's event. So like they had this special limited edition magazine that was available inside your stateroom. My only regret is that I didn't ask for more copies of this because I did stay at the hotel for a few days. I even got this magazine display thing just so I can display it because I think this is such an iconic magazine cover and I will literally cherish this thing forever. And on the side here, we just have the Proof Standard Edition album all the way in the back there. And then this pen right here. So here's a closer look at the pen. I wanted to show you guys this because it's just so pretty. And I haven't even taken it out of the case yet. I think it's like four colors and this is in the theme of DNA. I just really like the design on here. All right, moving down to the third shelf here. So starting over here, I already showed you guys the lanyard. So over here, I have a book about Disney. I actually haven't even opened this book yet. I'm not even sure why I still have it here. I think I got it for Christmas two or three years ago. So yeah, it's still here, but I still need to take a look at it. If you're a Disney fan, Please let me know down in the comments. So this shelf, I like to call it my season's greetings shelf because it has a bunch of the season's greetings that I have. So this one right here, this is the 2022 season's greetings for BTS. And then this one is the 2021 season's greetings for BTS as well. This one is super cool. It's like the retro themed one. And then this one, the 2022 one, this was kind of like a magazine tabloid thing, which was really cool. I really like the outer packagings for these two. And over here, I have the Map of the Soul online concert special edition photo book. So this one came with the two photo books. This packaging was also really, really cool. And next to it, we have the first TXT items that I will be showing you guys today. These are the season's greetings. This is the new one, the 2023 one, which I just unboxed last month. And then this one right here is the 2022 season's greetings. And then over here we have the BTS deco kit. I personally think this merch item was super worth it because it has like a bunch of stationery and it's just super cute. So yeah. This is one of my favorite items of all time. And over here, I have the BTS Memories collections that I currently own. So I have the 2019, 2020, 2021. For 2021, I actually have two copies. I think one of them is the DVD version and then the other one is the digital code version. So in front of these season's greetings, I have some cute things here. I have three of the Tiny Ton bandages and these I actually got as freebies 
when I went to the Permission to Dance in Los Angeles concerts. This one is Yoongi, this is Jin, and this is Namjoon. And next I have a little figurine of Iron Man because he is my favorite Avenger. Something really cool about this one is that it's actually like a bobble head. So if I tap his like head right here, you see how his head kind of just moves. And next to Iron Man, we have little RJ here. So this was actually part of a keychain. However, as you can see, it fell off the keychain. So yeah, I just have him here. So this is a 3D figure. It's actually pretty good in terms of quality. So yeah. Next thing I have is this little squishy thing. This is actually a mystery item and I haven't unboxed this yet. So this is what it looks like. It's a surprise squishy. I saw this on Amazon and I was like, you know what? I'll just purchase this because I think it was like $8. It wasn't expensive at all. There is a random squishy out of the seven squishies here. I will actually be doing a video of me unboxing this really soon. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And lastly, I have my bias line here. So these are like acrylic figures that I got from wish.com and I think they have uh, been here for like two years now. So yeah. So this is the one for JK. This is the one for Namjoon. I think this is from one of their like musters, like the magic shop muster. And this is the one for Jin. All right, moving on to the fourth shelf right here. This is what I like to call my TXT shelf because literally half of this shelf is made up of TXT albums. So starting on the left here, we have the Chaos Chapter Fight or Escape. So all three versions of that. The Chaos Chapter Freeze, all three versions. Minnesota 2, Thursday's Child, all three versions. The Dream Chapter Eternity, both versions for that. The two versions for the Dream Chapter Magic, their debut album. The Dream Chapter Star, and then their newly released album, The Name Chapter Temptation. I have all three versions for this. And then over here, I have Minnesota 1, Blue Hour, all three versions. And then this one is the Chaos Chapter, Fight or Escape, together version. And next to the albums, I have the BTS Limited Edition Heart Tin Can for Lemona, which is essentially vitamin C in powder form. I don't think they make this anymore. I was actually thinking about purchasing this again, but I think these are no longer being made. Here's what the design looks like. It's super adorable. Here's what the top looks like. Currently, I just have a bunch of random things in here, like stuff I have like obtained over the years. So I have Namjoon right here, which I got from like a mystery box and my army membership card or something. So yeah, just some random things I keep in here. And this is overall a pretty good container to keep your stuff in. Plus it's really cute. Over there in the back, that is a set of face masks um, that I got from the cram shop. I think I ordered the set. So it came with this super adorable container, which I have in the back right there. In front of the face masks, I have an empty container that used to hold the BTS coffee. So here's what the container looks like. It's super cute. And this one is the mocha latte. I really like this one a lot. I think this is my favorite one out of the three different kinds that you can purchase. And next to that, I have a little cold cup tumbler that I got from the Permission to Dance on stage in Los Angeles Live Play. So here's what the cold cup looks like. And as you can tell, I haven't used it yet. So there is still like a wrapper on the straw inside. But yeah, this is a cute little cold cup tumbler and it says permission to dance on stage. And lastly, let's take a look at what is on the last shelf here. So this one is only half full with K-pop merch over here. Everything on that side is just some of the books from my childhood. I'll go from this side to this side. So over here, you see that I also have four more coffee containers. So this one is of JK and then the other ones are all Namjoon. So the darker colored ones are the ones that had cold brew in them. And then the lighter ones had vanilla latte, which was actually pretty good. And on top of the coffee containers, I have this really cute standee thing. This one actually came as a freebie as part of like one of their albums. I don't remember which one. Over here, I have Namjoon's three cut photo, which I got as part of the pre-orders for the Proof album. 
and then I just have some like random things in the background. And lastly, I have this thing down here. This is actually the container for the pen pot that I purchased a while ago. I decided to keep the outer packaging because it just looks super cute. Now coming over to the side of my shelf. So I have this stamp sticker thing that I got from the photo folio for Namjoon's version. I had these really cute Koya washi tapes and if you look closely, they have different like emotions, which is really cute. And right underneath it, I have the same stamp sheet sticker thing. However, this one I got from the OT7 group photo folio. All right, now let's take a look at what is on the wall next to my shelf here. So at the top here, I have four of the Avengers. So from left to right, Thor, Hulk, Captain America, and Iron Man. And right underneath it, I have my enamel pin collection. Let's start from the top here. This is a goofy pin and it says her the best kept Disney secret. This is from the Disney Vacation Club. I actually got this one for free like maybe 10 years ago. I think I walked into a Disney store once and they were just handing these out. This is a Disneyland Resort 60th anniversary pin. And I'm really glad I got this one because this is a limited edition one. The 60th anniversary was also called the diamond celebration. So it's like really sparkly. There's like sparkles inside, which is really pretty. And down here, I have another 60th anniversary pin right here. I got it during the same time as this one. And this one over here, this is a moon child enamel pin. This is a really tiny one. I got this on wish.com. Um, you can't really see the moon child print, but it's it's on here. It says moon child. This is a moon. And then I just think this one looks really pretty. So I got this one. This is Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. I had this phase where I was really into Alice in Wonderland. So I got this one. It's super cute. It has Cheshire Cat with the different teacups. Down here, I have this pin. Um, this actually came in a set of four pins. And I got this when I went to Walt Disney World in Florida. In Walt Disney World, there's four major parks. There's Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Epcot. So I got the pin set that came with a pin for each of the parks. So this is the one for Animal Kingdom. So this is the Tree of Life, which is basically the centerpiece of the park. And then we have uh, Pluto in the background. This one is super cute. And then this is the one for Magic Kingdom. So of course we have Mickey Mouse here and a castle. And this one down here, this is the one for Epcot. And then I have this one for Hollywood Studios. So right next to the goofy Epcot pin, I have this one. I think this is like a Star Wars print. I'm not entirely sure. I got this at a Disney outlet once and it was on sale for like $1.99. So this was like super cheap. I didn't know what it was at that time. I still am not sure what it is. It does look really Star Wars like. So I'm just gonna say it's from Star Wars or something related to Star Wars. Something really cool about this pin is that it is 3D. So if you look, you see how it's literally like a 3D figure, which is so cool. So at the very top here, I have a pin that says I purple you. This actually came as a set with this one right here. So this pin, I believe, is inspired by JK's hand tattoos, which I think is so cute. So yeah, I got this one and this one together as a set. Now, this one is one of my favorite pins of all time. So this is an OT7 group enamel pin from the Butter Dance Practice video. I just really love the design and I was pleasantly surprised by how good the quality is. This is an enamel pin of the BTS rap line. So this is Namjoon, this is Hobie, and this is Yoongi. And this is them performing the iconic outro tear song and if you look closely all of their mics have this little shiny sparkly thing inside which is really cool so underneath this pin i have this pin of namjoon and it's just him in his like performance outfit i'm not sure which song this is for i think this is probably for like mic drop or something but yeah it's so cool i just really love this pin I also have another Namjoon pin. I think this is from one of their concerts. I forgot which one. I just really love the design for this one, so I got it. And right on top, we have this pin of 
JK from an iconic Run BTS episode. If you know which episode this is from, please comment down below. And I have another Namjoon pin. This is actually one of the earlier pins that I got. So this is Namjoon from the Idol music video. Up here, I have Alice from Alice in Wonderland and she is doing a little curtsy pose, which is so cute. And up here, I have a pin for Hope World, the mixtape. I really like the colors on this one. Okay, on the corner here, I have this mini pin. I actually got this pin when I went to Tokyo Disney Sea. And if you look closely, there is a heart in the center of the egg. So right underneath the mini pin, I have this Mickey pin, which has a question mark in the middle. I think this is like one of the pins in the collection for like the mystery Mickey figures that was like really popular a few years ago. This is one of my favorite prints of all time. So as I said earlier, I was obsessed with Alice in Wonderland for many years. And I just really love how complicated the design looks. It looks really pretty. And this one is also kind of 3D. So if you look at Cheshire Cat, you see how it's kind of 3D, which is really cool. This pin is a really special pin. I saw this one on Etsy and I instantly fell in love with it. It's such a Namjoon pin and I had to get it. And what I really like is that if you look closely, I just really love the design on his shirt. So whoever designed this did an excellent job. And down here, once again, we have another pin from Tokyo Disney Sea. I think I got this the same day as I got the mini one. And if you look closely, there is a hidden Mickey on the egg. So next to Mickey, I have this super cool pin. I got this one during the D23 Expo, which happened last year. And last but not least, I wanted to show you guys the pin that I think is the prettiest one I have in my collection so far. So this is a pin I got off of Etsy. And this is a pin for Spring Day, which is my favorite song by BTS. So up here it says, you never walk alone. And then it says, Pomnal, which is spring in Korean. And these are just elements from the music video. Something unique about this pin that really caught my attention was that it had a chain right here on the side and this piece of jewelry down here. It's so pretty. This is what my full enamel pin collection looks like as of this moment. And I do have some more pins that I have just laying around that I do want to put on the board right here. However, like the board doesn't really hold up that much in terms of the weight. So I'm thinking about maybe getting a second one or like a larger one in general so I can also display future pins on there. And that is it for my tour of my shelf and the decorations I have on my walls as well as my enamel pin collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making this video. It was a lot of fun going over and sharing with you guys what I have in my collection. And once again, I did link most of these items as well as a few of the K-pop items that I really enjoy up on my Amazon storefront, which I have linked down in my description box. So make sure you go and check it out. And if you're still watching at this point in the video, please comment the word happy down in the comment section so I know you made it all the way till the very end. Sharing my collection with you all truly made me happy and I really hope that this video also made you happy as well. Quick note before I sign off here, other than the shelf and the wall decorations you see here, I also have a desk and a wall grid that I'm currently decorating and I will definitely be filming a tour of that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next time, bye.